going on guys? It's Arik here and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls V Relics of Hyrule. Now, last time we made it up to this checkpoint here. And you'll have to pardon for my for my voice being weird because uh, I ate some animal cookies while I was waiting. Sorry, I was hungry. Dinner's not going to be for another six hours, well, four hours probably by now. Uh, we'll continue walking down this path. Let's put on the Boots of Lightning Dodger. Oh, purple flowers. Again, I have no idea where any of this stuff is. This, these episodes are all, all the episodes that I ever do are done in one lump sum so I can throw them out. I'm trying to do these things in 20 minute intervals instead of 30 minute intervals to try to, to try to, it's sort of kind of to attract more viewers, but also to get more recordings out at the same time. Because I know not a lot of people like to watch a 30 minute video. That takes a long fucking time, and Jack and Mark and all of them, and, and Royal and all, usually do 20 minute videos, so I'm just gonna mm, do 20 minute videos. Oh, there's that place. Okay, Iverstead's this way. Yeah, Iverstead's down here, but for some fucking reason it wants me to go all the way around. I've run this way, all the way through this way, from Hilgren's tomb all the way here. And I still have not had a problem. What's up here, anyway? An easier way to Iverstead, hopefully? White caps! More white caps! The hell's up with all the white caps up here? Hello, Mr. Goat. I think this might be a quicker way to... to, uh, Iverstead. <gasps> it is! Oh, shit. Sabretooth. Or no, a bear. Nope, Sabercat. Shit. Ooh, turning into a unicorn. You ain't no Sabercat. Use a unicorn, bitch. Yeah, I got an eye of the saber cat. And now I'm going to do the most disgusting thing imaginable. I'm going to eat that eye. And the fire salts. Restore stamina from the eye of the saber cat. Weakness to frost from the fire salts. Lunar moth wing. Damage magicka. Torch bug thorax. Restore stamina. Bomb flower bud. Resist fire. Ow. A lot of goats. Keeping the goat horns though, I can use them to make sconces. That's a nern root. I'm gathering those some bitches as much as I can. Nern roots are hard to find. Hey, buddy. Greetings, brother. I look curious. I have some of the wax is interesting. Find a schema, squeeze tea, sugar. Fair price, of course. I believe that's illegal. Hey, bitch. How about now, unicorn? I'm just going to call everyone that I end up hitting between the eyes of unicorn. Sleeping tree sap. 
some skooma, moon sugar. Let's see, where's the moon sugar? There it is. Weakness to fire. Well, fuck. My biggest problem is going to be that, uh, is going to be that, uh, freaking frost troll that's up there. I'll have to avoid him. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. I'm over here, bitch. You know what? Where's my Skotula poison? There it is. No, I'm not going to do that. Proper poison. I don't have any actual health ones. His freaking his his health regeneration was insane. No wonder it was hard to beat the 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 damn uh, frost troll. He must have the same kind of regeneration. <gasps> Nern root. <laughs> Mine. I need that if I'm gonna make poisons. Ooh, poor stonecloak bastard. Roy Calcum Vein. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. I didn't know there was an Roy Calcum Vein there. Nice. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh, shit, what else do I need? Oh yeah, I found the Chimera Vandium. After many battles it was clear who would win the war. The Chimar had a great had great skills in magic and bladery, but against the armored battalions of the Dwemer clad in the finest shielding wrought by Janago. There was little hope of this ever, of their ever winning. In the interests of keeping some measure of peace in the land, Slovin, the warlord, agreed to a truce with Carinthil, with Carinthil Bareth the Beast in exchange for the disputed lands. Sothen gave or Slovin gave Bareth, a mighty golem, which would protect the the Chimera's territory, the Chimera's territory from the excursions of the northern barbarians. Bareth was delighted with his gift and brought it back to his camp, where all his warriors gaped, gaped in awe at it. Sparkling gold in hue, sparkling gold in hue, it resembled a Dwemer cavalier with a proud aspect. To test its strength, they placed the golem in the center of an arena and flung magical bolts of lightning at it. Its agility was such that a few of the 
was such that few of the bolts struck it. It had the where it had the wherewith wherewithal to pivot on its hips to avoid the brunt of the attacks without losing its balance. Feet firmly planted on the ground. A vault of fireballs followed, but the golem ably dodged, bending its knees and its legs to spin around the blasts. With the few times it was struck, it made certain to be hit in the chest and waist the strongest of its body. Of its body. The troops cheered at the sight of such an agile and powerful creation. With it leading the defense, the barbarians of Skyrim would never again successfully raid their villages. They named it the Chimera Vandium. The hopes, the hope of Chimera. Bereth had the golem brought to his chambers with all his house things. There they tested Chimera Vandium further. Its strength, its speed, its resiliency. They could find no flaw with its design. Imagine when the naked barbarians first met this on one of their raids. Laughed one of the house things. It is only, it is only unfortunate that it resembles a Dwemer. Instead of one of our own, mused Karen Vilbareth. It is revolting to think that they will have a greater respect for our other enemies than us. I think we should never accept it. We should have never ex accepted the peace terms that we did. Said another, one of the more aggressive of the house things. Is it too late to surprise the warlord Thoven with an attack? It is never too late to attack, said Bareth. But what of his great armored warriors? I understand, said Bareth's spymaster, that the, his soldiers always wake at dawn. If we strike an hour before, we can catch them defenseless before they had a chance to bathe, let alone don their armor. If we capture their armorer, Janago, then we too would know the secrets of blacksmithery, said Bareth. Let it be done. We attack tomorrow an hour before dawn. Well, this isn't anything from Skyrim. Ah. Uh, uh, where was that other note? There it is. Maybe this one has it. Captain, there have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river northwest of the rift. We could use some more civilian rep civilian support for, from that area for the war effort. So send a few men to investigate. It's probably just a couple of wolves. So you only need to send two men at most. Wasn't wolves, my good friend. It was an ass. Named Troll. But I kill him for you. You guys should be fine. I normally side with the Imperials, even though technically the Stormcloaks did win. My goat, bitch. This one be my goat too. Those goat horns are hard to find. that we have that ready well yeah I forgot the iris dead guards are storm cloaks 
Even though they have white run helms for some reason. Well, we all know this is not where the Greybeards are. The Greybeards are up there. Because they're fucking assholes. <laughs> There's only men up there. <gasps> Nern Root! <laughs> you and your Nern Root. Nern Root's in Fallout too, by the way. Which is kind of funny when you think of it. Nern Root makes poisons. Poisons are good for my bow. Even though I'll soon be doing like six times damage still. Hey, clay deposit. I don't need it, though. I'm not building a house just yet. <sighs> the Yarl of Falkreath just asked me for help, which means that I could be able to... Which means I might be able to build a house soon, but... <gasps> Is that a slaughter... A slaughter fish nest? Or... Nope, that's lichens. Oh, barnacle, but barnacle clusters. Hey, the fuck was that? Arrows? What the fuck are arrows doing in here? Yeah, I can't use my bow in here. Ah, uh, there's no fish. Oh. What's up with this guy? I can see you right next to me. Fine. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Red is here. That dog. Went to the other plants and never came home. No. Everyone looked and no one could find her. No, no, it's a chill get back. Don't worry. Maybe we'll come back. Gift of charity. Oh, auto saving. No, where is that gift? Where is that gift of charity? There it is. Fortify persuasion. Oh. Speechcraft is increased by 10 points for one hour. Argonian claws. Oh, wow. I do five times more damage with my fists. Narthy, you're a little strange, but I'll help you. If I remember right, Wilhelm's in here. Almost done for this episode, too. Holy shit. It's because I spent so much time reading that stupid book. is when Rita is spawned, I think. Well, not exactly her, but her skeleton, I should say. Whoa. Really? Well, before I go do that, the next episode won't be High Hrothgar, it'll be the tomb over here. Because it appears there's something for the relics of Hyrule. I didn't know that. 
Maybe it'll be the hook shot. Need to look for a skeleton or a bag or something. I don't have to worry about breathing underwater because Argonians with my mod can breathe underwater indefinitely. First, let's go to quests. Locate Rita's remains. There we are. Ew. Ooh, a long fin. Ew. Unfortunately, I have to find out what that is, so... Sorry, Rita. Wish I could have saved you. Yeah, this episode will be just a couple minutes longer than normal, but that's just because I want to get this quest done. I don't want to leave it on a cliffhanger or anything. Cliffhangers are more for relics of Hyrule stuff. Be honest with him. Oh, I got more ingredients that I can check out. But that'll be next time because now I have to stop this and. I'll start the quest for that tomb, because apparently there's a quest related to it, I guess. But anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you are not currently, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And stay tuned for more Relics of Hyrule. I will see you in the next video. Gamers, game on, and remember, you don't lose, you learn. Oh, dead. Damn, had barrier poison. Watch it, more spiders from the ceiling. Wounded ones, too. Got him. This isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Uh, don't be saying that, dude. For all you know, yes, giant snakes. Huh. That one actually curled up.